All right. So, hey, it's your girl, Nia's Green Hebrew. Wanted to connect with you and talk to you about um, spirit attachments. So, as you know, I am an introspective hypnosis practitioner. Um, I assist my clients with healing trauma from their childhood, this life, and possibly past lives. Um, I also help them uh, uh, heal from things such as anxiety and depression and uh, pain, you know, any type of psychosomatic issues um, that they're dealing with. And so I wanted to connect and talk about uh, spirit attachments because that's a big part of my work and what I do. Um, um, so in doing introspective hypnosis, of course the technique I use is, you know, through hypnosis. And um, we regress and I uh, take the, the patient back or to the client back to the origin of whatever issues that they're dealing with. So the, the, the key, once we find the origin of that situation, we're able to heal and um, allow the client, or well, should I say the client does the healing along with source, because I work with source. Um, my spirit guides and their spirit guides. I'm not the one who does the healing. I don't do that. I don't know how to do that. I am simply the guide <laughs> who facilitates um, and guides the client on their journey and helps them find the healing um, that they need. So, um, with that said, um, with my clients, we'll um, go through a session, and sometimes the origin can't be found in, let's say, a past life or even in a childhood or current life issues. Um, sometimes the issue could be related to a, you got it, a spirit attachment. So um, with that, um, during a session, um, usually during the time when we call in the higher self, um, I will ask the higher self to do a body scan or the spirit guide, whoever comes with. <laughs> sometimes I'll ask for the higher, the higher self and the spirit guide will come with, or an ancestor will come with. Um, and so um, uh, they would do a body scan on the client and I'll ask them to look for anything that doesn't belong there. We'll look, you know, for their physical, um, their physical energy. We, we scan the physical body and we scan their spiritual body as well. And so, um, and doing so sometimes we'll find attachments. Um, and these attachments, um, when they attach to you, they will bring any issue that they have, any negative issues um, that they're carrying, they'll bring that along and it will um, project it onto the client. So if it's someone, maybe a spirit who maybe per se um, is located in the client's legs, um, they may be causing pain or um, limited movement in the legs for whatever reason. <laughs> um, um, and it just really depends on where the, the attachment is located, et cetera. And so um, let's get into it real quick because I don't want this to be a very long video. So um, here's some signs to let you know that you may possibly have a spirit attachment. So um, one thing is um, just not feeling like yourself lately, not feeling like yourself after maybe a certain event or something like that. Something may have occurred. Um, and since that time, you just have not felt like yourself at all. You don't know what's going on. You feel out of whack, right? Another sign um, could be um, developing um, unusual habits all of a sudden, um, whether it be, you know, um, drinking or smoking or eating food, certain foods that you normally don't eat or hate, or um, just whatever, just any unusual thing that you normally don't do, um, and that is out of character for you. Now all of a sudden you're doing it and you don't know why and you don't feel like you can't stop yourself from doing it. That could be a sign that you may have a spirit attachment. Um, another sign is um, unexplained physical issues or symptoms. Um, again, like I said, maybe certain things such as pain, maybe in certain areas where you've never had it, or maybe um, um, you've gone to the doctor about it for some reason, they can't figure out what it is, there's nothing there, there's been x-rays, etc. They don't know what you're talking about. They've done tests. It's unexplainable. Um, that can be an issue. So they usually give you things like to manage the pain because they don't know what it is. Um, 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 also, it can be things that's unexplained um, emotional issues, depression, fear, anxiety, things like that. Um, or just you're fearful of certain things or places all of a sudden um, and not know why. Um, 
um, and panic attacks. I don't know if I mentioned that. Having panic attacks all of a sudden when it's never been an issue before. And there's never, there's not a reason to have it. Um, those are all signs that you could possibly have an attachment. Um, now, as far as how they attach, right? People um, can get attachments through, um, usually it's when they're vibrating on a very low end frequency. Um, and some things that can cause you to vibrate on a, a low a frequency is um, if you have to have like, oh, well that's, well, yeah, we'll get to that in a sec. But things that will cause you to vibrate on a low frequency could be things such as illnesses, or maybe you've had a surgery and you need to like, you know, regain your strength. So it's like you have a recuperation period, a time where you're just not at your 100%. Um, um, you have like, trauma or um, issues maybe um, that you're battling in life currently, whether it's relationship issues or family issues or just self-esteem issues, whatever. When you're vi vibrating at a low frequency, attachments, um, it's, they're prone, they're drawn to you. <laughs> they're drawn to you and they will attach if they see the opportunity, especially if they feel like they see something that you have that, that they want. Um, for example, like this, uh, a guy who died uh, and he, his whole life he had no use of his legs. He might see you, an athlete, running around and you're feeling depressed. He's like, oh, this guy has some really great legs. He likes to run. I'm going to jump into his legs. <laughs> I'm going to attach to him so I can get and see what it feels like to be able to move around because I never had the opportunity to move. And it sounds funny. Some people might say you are crazy, but that's been my experience. Like with clients, like you see stuff like that. It's not uncommon. It's it's, it's amazing what you will learn doing these sessions. Um, and so, yeah, so that's one. Um, um, what's another? So accidents, you know, another issue of needing time to maybe um, recuperate, um, but also accidents. <laughs> uh, it could be things such as like um, accident, maybe you hit your head or something. And um, during that time, the energy saw the opportunity to attach and make it. Um, Another thing is um, if you've had like an abortion or miscarriage. Um, and I always we ask these things during the pre-interview prior to our session. Hey baby, if you had an abortion or miscarriage, any major surgeries, minor surgeries. Mommy. Yes, baby. Any blood transfusions um, or organ transplants because um, these, okay. Mm -mm. Now you know that that's not going to want you on camera. Mm -mm. What's wrong? What is it? All right, so what was I saying? <laughs> um, all right, so yeah, they will attach to you. Um, let me pull back up my notes real quick. Okay, well, how they attach is what I was talking about. So um, I mentioned abortions and miscarriages, and that's because um, whenever a woman um, has a miscarriage or abortion, um, but when the child dies, Sometimes the spirit will attach to the mother or sometimes to the father or sometimes to another close family um, relative. Um, yeah, so, you know, I asked at the beginning of um, each session during our um, interview um, if, yeah. okay, yeah. I'll put you down. All right, if, um, <laughs> be careful, I got you. Go ahead. It's good. All right. <laughs> she got me working over here. Okay, so um, you know, I asked them during the, the beginning of the session, um, during the interview portion, before we um, start the session, um, if they've had, you know, things such as abortion and miscarriage. Um, because I want to know if we do have an attachment, I want to have that history. I want to know, um, you know, I want to have some insights and background to know where possibly um, this child could have attached if there's a child there or to kind of identify what's going on. Um, also, um, through blood transfusions or transplant, um, if you're receiving someone else's blood or their organs and they have an attachment, they can, and especially if that attachment is um, located in that organ that you um, are receiving, the um, attachment will come and carry itself over along with the organ. And so, of course, you know, you'll get somebody else's, <laughs> somebody else's heart, but also their, 
the heart ache, so to speak, uh, if they're having, if they're causing problems for that person in their heart or whatever. Um, so yeah, um, let's see. All right, so that's how they attach, um, or some of the ways that they attach. Um, and I'm trying to think, is there anything else I want to go over with you guys? Something else you want to know? And let me know um, if there's something that I don't cover in these videos that you're interested in knowing more about the possessions. Um, you know, just comment below. Let me know what you want to know about, um, what you want me to expand on more, um, and I'll do my best to do that for you. Um, also, if you are interested in booking a session, you can do so at neoshihypno.com. Um, there is a link in the description box. You can click that and um, fill out the booking form, and um, I'll help you get you scheduled for the session. Um, what else? Uh, okay, so that's all I'm going to talk about in this video because I don't want to make it super long. <laughs> um, um, but I will say this. Um, once we identify the, um, that there, you do have an attachment, I simply you know, communicate with the attachment through the client, find out who they are, why they're there, how they got there, what kind of problems they've been causing while they're there, and then um, help them resolve whatever issue that they're having, which caused them to stick around instead of going to life when they pass away. Um, and once that attachment leaves, usually whatever issue that they were causing you leaves with it, like goes along with the attachment. So if they were causing you pain or um, anger issues, emotional issues, depression, anxiety, whatever, um, that will be gone as soon as the attachment leaves. Um, and we don't do any exorcism type of stuff over here with attachments, okay? <laughs> we, don't, we don't do that stuff. <laughs> um, the attachment is spoken to like a human, like we are, because we're all souls, we're all spirits, we're all beings, right? And so let's communicate to them through the client um, and help them resolve whatever issues that they're having, because sometimes they have issues with people forgiving them, or maybe they need to forgive someone. Um, um, or they just have issues surrounding um, unresolved trauma from their life when they were alive. Um, and sometimes it's because maybe the, the person that they're attached to was um, um, like they were in a, a prior life before and maybe they had unresolved issues or maybe um, the, the, my client, like I've had situations where my client's children were their children in that lifetime, like they were the attachments children in that their lifetime. And so um, maybe they felt that the, um, the client, my client's, was unable to care for their children the way they want to be cared for and so they stuck around and they attached to the client to make sure to uh that they be cared for properly so you know so to speak they want to watch over the, the children so you know it's um you'd be surprised <laughs> at the things you will see and learn um doing this work um but i'm grateful and i'm happy to be able to do this work um and yeah that's more about attachment so if you have any other questions about attachments or anything else in my work, whether it be past life regressions or forgiveness therapy, or change, whatever, whatever. Um, let me know. <laughs> Put a comment in the box again. And thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys again soon. Peace. <laughs>